everybody, my name is Annie, and I am an evangelist and a witness for Jesus Christ. And um, I want to ask you to forgive me for my camera on my phone. Uh, for whatever reason, I can't seem to figure out how to make it brighter right now. So, um, but for that, it doesn't matter how I look. Because Jesus doesn't look on the outside, he looks on the inside. So, today I am going to talk about chapter 6, verse 16. That is something a lot of times when I wake up in the morning or before I go to, uh, in the evening when I look at the clock, it'll say 6, 6, 6, 6, 16. And um, one time I thought, I'm just going to Google it. So I googled, what is chapter 6, verse 16 in the Bible? And guess where it took me? To Matthew, chapter 6, verse 16. Okay? So I'm going to read that right now to you, so everybody knows what it is. Uh, let's get to it. Forgive me. Might take me a second. But I'm going to get to Matthew. There's Mark, Matthew. All right, so Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 says right here, uh, And when you fast, don't make it obvious as the hypocrites do, for they try to look miserable, disheveled, so people will admire them for their fasting. I tell you the truth, that is the only reward they will ever get. Again, I say reward. But when you fast, comb your hair, wash your face, then no one will notice that you are fasting except your father. For who knows what you do in private and your father who sees everything will reward you. Okay? So I am a true believer on wanting to stay spiritually fit, humbling myself and drawing close to the Lord, keeping my heart in check with the word and um, to hear God's voice, to have my flesh be more obedient to the Holy Spirit. And by doing that, to become regular uh, servants, regular um, spiritually fit people that want to stay close with their walk with the Lord, Fasting is a way to do it, and I would highly recommend it. There are a lot of people that say, you know, I just haven't heard from the Lord, or I just, I just feel like he's not there. What you need is a breakthrough. You need a breakthrough. And a great way to have that breakthrough is to humble yourself and do a fast and pray. Okay? There is... So much growth. Talk about going from glory to glory. It is truly, truly rewarding so much just spiritually. Now, I'm sure if none of you have heard of this before, uh, Stormy O. Martin, uh, she has given uh, 20 reasons to fast. So I'm going to read these to you, okay? 20 reasons to fast, to purify and cleanse the spirit, soul, and body, to receive divine guidance and revelation, to seek God's face and have a closer walk with him, to hear God better and to understand his will more fully for you, to invite God's power to flow through you more mightily, to establish a position of spiritual strength and dominion, to break 
bondages that is on you to receive clarity of mind to be free of evil and deliberating thoughts to break through depression to weaken the power of the devil in your life to stabilize you when life seems out of control to be strengthened in your body and soul to break the lusting of the flesh after anything to discover gifts god has placed in you to be released from heavy burdens to establish a clean heart and a right spirit within you to be set free from negative emotions to find healing, to gain strength for what you don't have the ability to do. So those just give you some ideas of um, why it would be good to do a fast. Um, I'm also going to let you know that there's a lot of different ways to fast, okay? When I talk to people about fasting, either they've not done it, uh, they believe it was in the Old Testament. Um, they, um, it's been a long time since they fast. Or I'm on medication. I'm on medication and I have to take my medication for food. With food. So, um, I'm, I'm going to let you know, um, uh, the Holy Spirit is in us. Okay? And we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. So, um, greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. So you can do all things through Christ. He can give you that strength. There are supernatural fasts I want to talk about. Let's talk about Esther, Jonah, and Paul. Those three did supernatural fasts. No water, no food for three days. All three of them did. So it can be done. Remember, God doesn't have favorites. Okay? So if he can do it for them, he can do it for you and I too. Um, I will say for me, I've been able to do a one day, no water, no food fast. And uh, believe it or not, when I laid my head down that night, wow, did I hear from the Lord. A great dream, a deep sleep, a great vision. So um, uh, the more you have your flesh get obedient to the Holy Spirit and you don't let your stomachs take control, then um, you can get a breakthrough. You can get a breakthrough. So, you know, seek God uh, on what he, kind of fast he wants you to do, whether it is a Daniel fast where you just eat vegetables for 10 days. Um, maybe it's the fasting like Jesus did, where it is just water. Because it doesn't say that he didn't go without water. It just says that he went without food for 40 days. Uh, if you can do a 40-day fast, wow, that's great. Um, keep in mind that fasts aren't always accomplished just because you decide to take off and go to a motel and lock yourself up and be away from everybody. Uh, what I would probably do is... Uh, um, not necessarily try to run away from everybody because that's, that's not reality. A fast is truly staying obedient to the word of God, praying in the spirit and truly just relying on him. Okay. Cause I don't think he necessarily wants us to be running away from everybody. 
He wants us to rely on him when all the chaotic things are going on or whatever it is that's trying to pull you away from him. So running away, I don't really recommend it. Um, so right now, um, I am, uh, I'm going to take us into prayer. Okay, I'm going to pray for us right now, and um, I am going to try to lift us up into prayer in regards to helping us start this fast, okay? Um, today is Sunday, December 10th, 2017, so I don't care when you start uh, this video, whether, you know, it's in the years to come or whether it's at nighttime. Um, fasting, usually I recommend to start at, in the evening after six o'clock after you've eaten dinner and you're going to say, okay, Lord, you know, make the commitment, make the commitment. I'm going to say Wednesday, let's start our fast. Instead of having it be hump Wednesday, we're going to have it humble Wednesday. And for three days, um, we're going to, uh, try to do just water. If you can do Wednesday, no water, no food, Let's do it. Let's come into agreement and know we're making that commitment. And then Friday, uh, Thursday, if you can go just water, and Friday just water until 6 o'clock, you've done your three-day fast. You've been obedient. I guarantee you'll get a breakthrough. You'll get your reward. Okay? You will. Jesus' word doesn't go out and come back void. Okay? He has, he keeps his promises. He keeps his promises. So let's just start by lifting Lord Jesus up right now and who he is to us and how much he loves us, okay? So Lord Jesus, I just come before you now with my beautiful brother and my beautiful sister in Christ. Lord, I just want to thank you that you are God that loves us the God that lavishes us with love, the God that died on the cross so we can re receive salvation. Jesus, you are our rock. You are our prince of peace. You are our morning star. Jesus, you are the rose of Sharon. I just thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness, your grace and mercy. Lord, I thank you that when we draw close to you, you draw close to us. Oh, Lord, I don't want to be a servant that is gimme, gimme, my name's Jimmy. I want to be a servant that presses towards the mark of excellence, that has patience, kindness, gentleness, faith, love, self-control. Lord, I want to draw close to you. My brother wants to and my sister wants to. Lord, I just want to thank you right now that the Holy Spirit that dwells within us is our best friend. The Holy Spirit is our advocate, our counselor, our comforter, our intercessor. The, the, the Holy Spirit pleads for us. I just want to thank you, Jesus, that you, when you died, you sent us the advocate to help us, Lord. Lord, you don't have favorites, but you favor all of us every day. We receive favor from you. Lord, we want to clean out our hearts, purify our hearts, Lord, so we see your face, so we hear from you like Samuel did. We want to be obedient servants. We want to spiritually be fed by you like Esther, Jonah, Paul. Lord, I just want to ask you to send ministering angels around us to help us through a fast that we are going to commit to. Lord, I don't know what that fast is going to be like for my brother and sister. 
But I do know, Lord, that they did not come across this video by accident. They came across it because you want them to know you want a closer walk with them. You want them to be able to know that you are the God that rewards, the God that gives breakthroughs, the God that gives blessings, the God that gives miracles. You want us to seek the kingdom first, to rely on you in all of our ways. So, Lord, we're ready for that breakthrough. We are ready for a reward. We want to be spiritually fed. Lord, there are people right now that are having difficulties in their marriage with their spouses. So I'm thanking you right now that when we do this three-day fast, you're going to reward that spouse, that that uh, husband, that wife is going to make a complete turnaround. So whatever's pulling them away, is going to be gone and bound up in the abyss in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have made women to be fruitful, to multiply. You gave us the ability to have children. So for those women that are struggling to get pregnant, I decree and declare after this three-day fast, we're going to you're going to receive your reward. You're going to receive your breakthrough. Because Jesus, his promises never return void. Lord, I want to thank you that our finances are going to receive a breakthrough. Someone's going to receive a new job. We're going to have new resources. We're going to be able to put, have no problem putting a resume together. And there are going to be so many jobs that are going to be all over wanting us to do to be right there to receive. To, we're going to have so many jobs to be able to choose from. We're not going to know what to do. Lord, I want to thank you right now that these addictions that try to pull us away from you, whether it's cigarettes, caffeine, drugs, alcohol, pornography, lust, I just bind you up and I cast you in the abyss by the blood of Jesus. You have no rights to us. And I want to thank you, Lord, that after this three-day fast, we're going to receive a breakthrough on that. Lord, we want a breakthrough. This is the time of year where we're stressed, we're worried. We've got depression because of our finances, our children. It's Christmas time. We have a tendency to overeat. We have a tendency to overshop. We have a tendency to just to go through fast foods restaurants because we're always in a hurry. So I'm going to thank you right now that after a three-day fast, we're going to get a breakthrough on that. We're going to get a breakthrough on our minds. We don't want to lose our minds, those wars that go on between our ears, Lord. After this three-day fast, we are going to clean out our minds, Lord. And when we read the Word of God, it's not only going to go in our mouth and to our head, it's going to connect with our hearts. I thank you for being the Prince of Peace. When things are, when we're upset and we're worried, we're going to just read your word and take your yoke and cast all of our fears onto you, Lord, because you are the Prince of Peace. And we're going to hear, we're going to be still and know that you are God. I thank you for that, Holy Spirit. Lord, I just want to thank you that we're going to have tongues of fire when we fast. We're going to pray in the Spirit and have a beautiful prayer language. We're going to receive that deliverance. Lord, I just want to thank you that while we do this three-day fast, Lord, your ministering angels are going to come around us, minister to us, fight our battles because the enemy is going to try to make us justify. He's going to try to make us have our stomachs take over. He's going to try to pull us away from the word. He's going to have us not, not remember what we're reading. So Lord, I just, I just want to thank you right now. Because your word says, if the sun shall set you free, we are free indeed. Hide your word in our hearts so we won't sin against you. Have us get up, take a shower, put on makeup, and go out there in society 
fixing our eyes on you, Lord, knowing we can get through this fast. We are going to be spiritually fed. We are going to be obedient because we can do all things through you, Jesus Christ. You strengthen us. You renew our wings like the eagles. We can run and not be weary. We can walk and not faint. We're going to taste and see how the Lord is so good. I want to thank you for the reward. I want to thank you for the deliverance. I want to thank you for the joy. I want to thank you for the breakthrough. I want to thank you for your blessings. I want to thank you for my prayer life. I want to thank you that the word of God is going to give me revelation. Jesus, I just can't wait to, for Humble Wednesday to come. Because I'm going to humble myself like never before. Your word says we are to humble ourselves. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And I'm going to thank you right now, Lord Jesus, because you are our shepherd. I'm going to be the shepherd for the flocks that are going to watch this video to help us through that three-day fast. We're going to rejoice. We're going to pray. We're going to plead the blood of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus right now on my brother and sister. I plead the blood of Jesus on me. I plead the blood of Jesus on this prayer. I plead the blood of Jesus on this fast. So we're going to rejoice in the Lord. Again, I say rejoice. You are our Prince of Peace. You are the great I Am. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are our Adonai, our Master. So we love you. We thank you. We worship you. We praise you. We glorify you. We exalt you. We magnify you. You are the King, the God, the everything. Everything good comes from you. So this three-day fast that we do at 6.16 at night, on Tuesday night, we're starting our fast to humble ourselves for you. And I'm going to thank you right now, Jesus. I praise you and worship you because when the praises go up, the miracles come down. When the praises go up, the breakthrough comes down. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Jesus Christ, you are our blessing. You are our treasure. You are everything. I thank you for communion. I thank you for your word. I thank you for dying on the cross and being God's only one and begotten son. I thank you for your archangel Gabriel to minister to us. I thank you for your archangel Raphael to heal us. And I thank you for archangel Michael who fights our battles. So I thank you, Jesus that you love us so much that you are going to take care of us through this fast. We are really going to know you are the one and true living God, the God that rewards. Praise you, praise you, praise you. All for your glory. Your glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to let everybody know right now, I have prayer cloths. They've been prayed over. They are anointed. And if you would like to receive a prayer cloth from me, I would love for you to have one. So I'm going to make sure I put my email address underneath the notes. And if you would like a prayer cloth, I would love to send you one. I would. If you would like to donate to my ministry, 
I would love it. Sow a seed into this ministry. That would be great. I am in the process right now trying to get out to Bible college and um, continue growing from glory to glory with Jesus Christ. And if there's um, a way that I could help you through your journey as well, I would love to keep spend more time being in front of the camera to be able to shepherd you through this journey. I also want to show you real fast too. This is kind of funny. I have a dog and her name is Izzy and she is a rescue dog. She has part pit bull and part Boston Terrier. So um, she's a beautiful dog. I love her to pieces. Uh, I don't want her to realize how strong her jaw really is. So I pray over her and I anoint her all the time. But she is quite spoiled in this house. And um, I have quite a few Bibles in my home. Um, I, I love Bibles. I just, I absolutely love the Word. And evidently Izzy does too because she has eaten my Word. She's eaten my King James Version. She has eaten my living uh, New Living Translation. And she's gotten into God's Word. So, three out of probably almost my ten Bibles that I have, um, actually, she's the one eating the Word right now. So, I'm excited about Wednesday because you and I are going to be eating the Word together. So, I look forward to seeing you on my next video. God bless you all. Remember, Jesus is Lord and your soul is well. Bye now.